Welcome back to Crowns Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within this trading psychology series. Today, we will be focusing on perhaps the most important underlying facet that ties in all of the ideas within this playlist together. And that is what is the right emotional cognitive state to be coming from in order to be a successful trader? Now, if you've been paying, to, paying attention to this playlist, you will probably already know the answer. And to put it out bluntly, the right emotional state to be coming from is relaxation. Now we're gonna have to backwards engineer why that this is so important, but essentially it comes from being consistent with our identity in the way that we don't want to force ourselves into an emotional state and a state that is driven by fear, a state that is driven by any sort of more, any sort of lack of abundance, lack of opportunity, lack of, lack of knowledge and lack of, lack of trust in yourself that your technical analysis skills can work because when you get into that state when you get into that when you get into that mind and mentality you will no longer be operating from the logic required to the uh, sorry the logical state required to to keep the right beliefs and keep and stick to your guns with good te with good technical analysis skills with good risk management skills and instead be driven by those emotions which will intrinsically block you from making the right decision so understand that when looking at our overall our, our, our overview of trading there are a few different parts we have one technical analysis. Of course, I'm making assumptions here that you're coming from this frame. Of course, there's other ways of doing it. Um, this doesn't apply to everyone is what I'm trying to say. But within the context of this conversation, you have technical analysis, you have risk management, and then you basically have your emotional state. Technical analysis is simple enough. You have your edge, whatever it might be. Maybe you trade Stokes, maybe you trade uh, moving averages, maybe you trade Elliott Waves, whatever it might be. You have to have some sort of edge that gives you a 50.0001% chance of... Of, of being essentially right on the trade then with that in mind that we can't be perfect even with the most even with the best technical analysis it'll, it'll there is variability in the game in the game you will not be perfect so how do we mitigate and how do we reconcile that fact that we can't be perfect but we can still be successful over time well that comes into risk management and then the emotional state which ties those two things together which makes it possible that we can maintain that and make it and, and make it intrinsically um, uh, repeatable over time well that is again coming from that relaxed base state now why is that important well plenty of people know technical analysis plenty of people know risk management so what prevents them from being successful as very few traders are successful are, are, are very few traders are successful as you probably already know or perhaps you perhaps you experience this yourself well again it's coming from that emotional state so when people get into a fear-based and driven state they will be blocked from making those good decisions following their technical and out skills their risk management skills so keep that in mind whenever we are in that flat or fight um, uh, mode you cannot make a good decision. That is what makes you make that very emotionally based decision to long at long at resistance and short at support, for example. Or perhaps you keep on moving your stop loss away and away and away. Now, why do we do this? And this is, you know, this is the purpose of this series is to get a little bit more deeper. Why do we do this? Well, people have people are driven by a few different things. We're driven by fear. So fear of missing out in the case of, you know, longing at resistance, shorting at support. And then moving your stop loss away, in that example, where you're you're more driven by fear of not living up to your identity. Your identity likely driven by, if you are a newer trader, this is what I typically notice. It's likely driven by, I'm a trader, so I don't take, I I, I always win. I win. I don't take losses. And when you identify yourself with your account's value you will fight tooth and nail to maintain that identity it quite literally feels like a death when you do not live up to your men, uh, live up to your identity that is why we strive so hard to fulfill these ideas because it's the same thing as as you striving hard to i mean you know if, if you're let's say uh super hungry or something like that you're going to only be able to think about eating right it's going to be the only thing on your mind well if you are identified with your accounts value you won't take that loss when it's time to take that loss because you see yourself as having you know 10 bitcoins in your account for example and if you take that loss and you no longer live up to that and that feels like a death to your ego again ego in the sense of your frame of reality your frame of yourself your ideas of yourself which is actually wrong 
you can't be 10, you're not 10 Bitcoins is what I'm trying to say. That's, that can't be a part of your ego because these are floating and floating and floating things, which will be inconsistent with what it takes to become successful over time, because that's going to, again, propel you into that more emotional state, which in turn propels irrational and emotionally driven decisions, which are unlikely to be consistent with actual good trading acumen. So again, this might sound like I'm actually talking in circles, but there are a lot of little intricacies within these statements. So I hope that this does make sense. And it might be the, per and it might be the case that you want to rewatch this video multiple times. But again, the big news here is that in order to access that relaxed state, now getting to the resolution of this whole rant, we have to realize the truth of trading. If you can't be perfect and you know that you're going to take losses, which is essentially risk management, we can't let ourselves be identified by these actu by these non-truths. These non-truths will only set you aside from the fact. So again, whether whether it's coming from the frame of, you know, I don't take losses because I, you know, I'm a trader. So uh, so if, you know, if I don't know, if, if my if my friends seem to take a loss and then they're not gonna think that I'm a trader, and then that's, you know, then it's it for me. Again, feeling, you know, not living up to your identity. Or if, you know, you always win, it's basically the same problem. And then obviously if you identify with your account's value, you know, it all comes from the same place. That's my that's that's my point here. Uh, you know, you can you can apply this to just about any problem that it comes to when getting into that risk management mode, that risk management mentality of taking responsibility for your actual positions. It always comes down to that. So again, getting away from that is accessing this relaxed state. And how do we ha how do we always come from a relaxed state? Well, of course, it can come in part due to you know your diet, your exercise routine, your 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 daily habits, your meditation schedule, whatever you know, whatever it is, whatever your vices are that keep you basically in a calm and and uh, and cooled state of mind. But those all are boiling down to the fact. Again, getting back down to the root of this. You're not identified with those things. You're identified with what you are as a human. And from there, you know that these things don't change you and you can make the right response over time to do the right thing, to set you up for statistical success with good risk management skills, knowing that you will be taking losses over time. It's just baked into the strategy. And with good technical and out skills, as long as you have a 50.0001% edge, you will be successful. It's just that simple. So let it be a relaxing fact that even if you don't, even if you don't fully understand this uh, to begin with, that just practicing these over time, you will see the results firsthand, right? You will see the results firsthand, and that will be proof to your to your actual psyche, and you'll be able to take on these beliefs. So if so, so getting to more action actionable type statements, that's the way to access it. If you don't, you know, if, if you don't believe exactly what I'm saying right now, you're you will be forced to believe it with continued exposure to it. Of course, so by understanding that you don't have to be identified with these factors to begin with, it should be a soothing fact. It should be a very soothing fact that if you can't be perfect, there's no point in getting worked up over not being perfect. There's no point in getting worked up over taking a loss. In fact, the best traders actually in some ways get excited when they take a loss because they know that that is just one more experience that gets them closer to the next win because remember if you're playing a statistical game it's just the more you know it's, it's just essentially a numbers game right the more and more numbers uh, and trials that you have the more likely and the more success you will have just by the narrative of statistics that's exactly how a casino thinks understand the casino mentality is a casino worried about statistics not working i mean blackjack's been producing you know net losers for eternity <laughs> poker has been been uh been, been producing net losers for eternity that's how the that's how the casino always wins and they don't need a huge margin um in order to in, in, in order to come out extremely rich themselves i mean just look at vegas right are they worried at the end of the month if they see someone you know if they see someone win big aka them lose that would them that would be them losing big technically speaking on a, on a singular uh, trial but overall they don't even have that that great of margins and they still produce significant amounts of gains so again understand that sort of mentality and understand that the relaxation response in your own self in your own psyche is what drives that forwards is what makes it maintainable and sustainable over time 
because you'll no longer be forced into one of those silly ideas where again, where you just, where you take a trade at the wrong time, or perhaps you don't get out at the right time or, you know, or you're stubborn with moving your stop loss around, um, which just leads to bigger losses. Well, that just makes your edge a little bit worse. And that's going to mess up the whole equation going forwards. So again, that is going to do it for today's video. Hope this one finds you well. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.